Chronic inflammation has been highlighted as one of the leading causes of autoimmune diseases, heart diseases and asthma. Managing chronic inflammation can therefore go a long way to decreasing its impact on overall health. Today we're taking a closer look at nature's own apothecary for solutions to the issues. We've invited Professor Buick to tell us more about how Buhu can assist in managing chronic inflammation. Welcome Prof, great to have you with us today. Thank you Michael. Chronic inflammation, it's a topic that comes up over and over again and I think it's something that is obviously on people's minds and we're also dealing with it from a medical perspective, um, many uh, conditions that are related to it. What is, in a nutshell, chronic inflammation? Okay, chronic inflammation, I mean, firstly you have inflammation which is beneficial, an yes. acute onset of inflammation, it's, it's tissue repairing. Yes. The problem is when that mechanism is not controlled and it goes into the chronic phase. Right. There we have, from the inflammatory cells, the immune cells, they secrete factors which actually then dis do the damage. Yes, destroy yes. joints, destroy tissues, etc. And unfortunately, our lifestyles and also things like pollution and mm. pesticides, etc., poor nutrition, all contributes to this chronic, you know, this cycle of chronicity. Yes. And that is when you then start developing these horrible diseases, cardiovascular diseases, right. diabetes, um, heart disease, uh, autoimmune diseases. These are all chronic inflammation driven okay. because the, the, the cells of inflammation thrive on inflammatory markers secreted by these inflammatory cells. Right. Now you mentioned that there are lifestyle factors, but there are also environmental factors. And oh, there's yes. not a hell of a lot we can do about the environmental ones because we're not in control of all of those. But what can we do from a lifestyle perspective to reduce the potential of inflammation or if we find ourselves in an inflammatory state to reverse that? Okay, sure. Um, I mean, very often people will talk about detoxing. Yes. Okay. Detoxification of your liver is very important because okay. your liver is a big sponge. Yes. It absorbs and after a while the sponge becomes waterlogged so you now have to actually wring out the sponge so it can actually do the, the, the work again. Yes. So it's lifestyle choices. You know, if you do have access to organic meats, mm -hmm. rather eat organic meats. Okay. Eat more fruit and vegetables that are organically grown. Yes. Yes, we all have, you know, now and again cravings for a bit of fast foods and what have you. That's not going to kill you, yes. but it's the people who eat that way every day. Then there are supplements. Use supplements to neutralize the damage caused by inflammation, yes, yes. your antioxidants, etc., etc. So it's, it's a holistic approach that one has to adopt to make sure that firstly we try and live as healthily as possible, yes. do the right things at the right time, but prevent the damage from taking hold Absolutely. by supplementing and obviously nutrition is critical. Yes. Okay. And what role does exercise play in that as well? I mean, nutrition the, and exercise go hand in hand. Very, very important. Yeah. Firstly, exercise pushes up your endorphins. Right. So it makes you feel good about yourself. Yes. Secondly, it actually controls weight. Obviously, your metabolism of the cells are increased, etc., etc. And I just think that one has to keep tone because some of the factors or some of the hormones that are secreted post-exercise actually neutralize by switching off those inflammatory ah, markers. Okay. So that is where the exercise actually helps to be anti-inflammatory yes, from yes. a hormonal point of view. Okay, very interesting. And it's amazing, I mean, we always talk about the body being a finely tuned machine and it's got to be in balance for it, it to operate it, We optimally. need the balance all the time, Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So when we can have an impact, we need to do what we exactly. can do. Exactly. Sometimes the balance gets stuck. Yes. So use the right pr approach to just bring back that seesaw balance again. Okay. That's all it is. Fantastic. Now, Prof, you've brought in a beautiful bouquet of flowers, not for me necessarily, not for you. but just to Sorry, show Mike. the viewers. Um, something that has gained quite a lot of publicity in the last while being buhu. Yes. What exactly is buhu? Buhu is part of the Cape Fainbos. Okay. So it's part of the Protea family, the Fainbos. Right. Um, another very famous Fainbos that we all use is rooibos. Yes. Okay. So it only grows in the Western Cape. Okay. Okay. A very small little strip that from literally going from Cape Town up north. Yes. It grows in the hills and has been known for thousands of years. I okay. mean, when the um, Dutch colonists arrived here, they were faced with the Khoisan, who were actually making use of this plant to treat a myriad of, of conditions. Yes. They were using it without knowing the science behind it. Yes. And one of the very first indications that they used it, or applications, was for treating a uh, treatment of bladder infections, cystitis. Okay. Right. Now, anybody who's had a bladder infection knows one thing, frequency or an urge to urinate. Yes burning sensation, and obviously it's caused by an infective organism, yes. so it's a bacteria. So the Khoisans were using this to treat those conditions. Okay. And lo and behold, today, now that we've been doing the research for the last 20 years on this particular um, buchu plant, yes. we've been able to show it has potent anti-inflammatory properties, okay. antimicrobial, so it actually right. kills bacteria. Okay. It stimulates urinary output. In other words, that's why we always tell people, 
If you have a UTI, I drink loads of water to flush. Yes, absolutely. And it has a natural. So it's the most incredible, it's a pharmacy on its own. It's amazing, and the smell of it is so pungent. It's, it yeah, really is something it's, that... It's the volatiles. What you're smelling are, in fact, captured to make perfumes. Oh, wow, okay. okay the, it's a the, very the, useful plant. Yeah. yeah. Um, secondly, the taste. There's a particular taste, if you do actually sort of chew on the leaves, mm. that is often used as a fixative as a natural flavor, and so the okay. ice cream industry. Yeah. You think you're eating black currants. In fact, yeah. it hasn't seen a single black currant. So in fact, <laughs> buchu. Okay. So it's, it's been used as in the food industry, and this yes. plant has this long history of safety, because yes. the FDA has actually given it grass status. The generally okay. regarded as safe, so it's been consumed by humans for millions of years, yes. and we're now actually developing all the new products where we can actually show why it works in inflammation, okay. why it works with antibacterial activity, right. etc. Um, I know there have been some huge studies done over the last, you said, 18 years yep. um, in terms of what the plant can actually do. And some of the conditions that where inflama chronic inflammation would cause them or contribute to them, this plant is able to reduce those um, oh, yes. uh, symptoms and the effects of them. Mm. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. I mean, look, the, the research was triggered about 18 years ago where it was done in vitro, in other words, in the test tube, to okay. show that it can actually switch off the inflammatory cells when you trigger those cells to release these inflammatory markers. Right. From there, we went to a, to a human model where we actually did a, um, a study with sports science um, physiologists where we actually showed that the, the, the damage to muscles when you exercise mm -hmm. um, could actually be prevented by actually applying oh. the buchu, okay. you know, um, oil to it. Yeah. From there, we, um, the company that, that makes the products received enormous amounts of testimonials saying, but I used to have high blood pressure, and suddenly mm. my blood pressure is normal. Okay. My diabetes, I used to have to take tablets to control my glycemia. So that's when we started looking at. Also, again, we always start with in vitro yes. models. And we, we showed, in fact, that by adding the oil distillate from the plant into um, the test tube where the cells are supposed to use the, the, um, the glucose added to it, yes. those cells that were treated used up the glucose a lot faster. Okay. So which means that if you had to, in the human body, if your glucose was rising, yes. if you took the buchu, it would control your glycemia. Oh, so from the in vitro, we went to an animal model with colleagues of mine at Tigerberg Hospital, where they make use of rat models. Okay. Who are, the rats are in fact born and they are hypertensive when they become right. adult, they become high blood pressure, okay. the cholesterol starts climbing, and the glucose also. So the typical metabolic syndrome yes, type of model. Yes. And lo and behold, feeding the rats, a group of them, feeding the rats water containing the buchu molecules, the blood glucose normalized. Okay. The blood pressure was better controlled. Yes. The cholesterol started decreasing. So Fascinating. It, the, it was an in vivo model which could actually account for all the testimonials being received yes. from humans consuming this. And as you said just now, Mike, I mean, most of those conditions are inflammation driven. Right, yes. I mean, you know, do people realize that um, if you have diabetes, the damage done to your to your pancreas mm. is, a, is an inflammatory process. Yes, yes. You know your neurological conditions, they say autoimmune diseases, it's inflammation. Um, most people will know what arthritis is. The damage to the joints are inflammatory markers. Right. There are different ones, obviously, you know, associated. But the pathogenesis, the the the, the cause of the damage remains inflammatory in okay. nature. Part of the study was the anti-obesity element of yes. buchu. So what is the impact? It there? actually stimulates the uptake and the metabolism of fats, of lipids, okay. by the adipocytes. Rather okay. than the adipocytes actually taking the fat and swelling, yes. and obviously you becoming fat, obese, what happens is on a cellular basis, it gets taken up and activates the mechanism whereby that lipids are in fact metabolized better. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. So it's it's like the same thing for your... sugar as well. Okay. It brings back the balance. Yes, yes. It brings back the physiological balance, which is faulty yes. in the conditions of diabetes, obesity, etc. Right. Having learned a great deal about this amazing medicinal herb, the Real Health team went out and tried Cape Kingdom Buchu products, and we've again added them to our Real Health Medicine Cabinet. But let's find out what Prof Buick thinks about them. So Prof, you mentioned that there are a range of products, and there are teas and creams and supplements and things like that. Now, are these things that anybody can incorporate into their daily life? Sure. I mean, look, firstly, I think Anybody, there's one which I always say is a, a family must, and that's a gel, a topical gel okay. that can be used to address 
burns, right. everybody cooks. Okay. You're in the kitchen, you burn yourself with a kettle. Yes. You apply it immediately and that burn is immediately stopped there and then and it never scars. And that's got the antibacterial properties in it as well. Antibacterial and also the anti-inflammatory in right. the gel. Okay. So okay. It's, it's topically applied yes. and it, used, you know, it can be used for sunburn, for okay. insects, things, for eczema. Brilliant. You know, a lot of kids who scratch themselves to bits yes. because you know, it's itchy, it takes away the itch. There's the buchu water which people drink just for as a tonic. A yes. lot of sports people use it because okay. they, find that you re they, they find that you recover from your exercise you know, a lot faster. Okay. So that's a good tonic. Right. Um, there's obviously the teas, yes. the detox teas that people you know, enjoy you know, in the evening or whenever. Absolutely. Um, then there's the gel-based capsules. The, there are two types of capsules. There's one that's joint, uh, called joint health, okay. obviously for the health of, of your joint. Yes. So it would be used by people who have onset of arthritis, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And it takes away the pain, yes. and they get mobility back. Um, then there's also one which is specifically formulated for UTIs, okay. for infections of, of the bladder. And I understand there's also a range for pets too, so safe for animals? Yep, for animals, okay. definitely. Um, similar indication. Yeah. So what's good for the humans, also good for good the pets. Good for the animals, great. For the animals and as well. Are they pretty much available at health stores and pharmacies? Very much so. Okay. Most of the, 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 the biggest would be Diskems. Right. Your Diskems, your Wellness Warehouse, okay. um, Food Lovers. Thank you natural. so much, Prof. It's one, wonderful to chat to you. And I'm fascinated by something that's truly South African and is doing so much good work yeah, out there. Yeah, very much so. Brilliant. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Michael. Okay.